I'm scared to come back. Just come back. Hey, everybody. How's everybody doing right now? Okay, so I'm here, and um, this is a great time to be on. And uh, I want to just talk to you about my new book, the upcoming book. The upcoming book, The War in My Mind to the Place of Deliverance. Well, I told you that I was going to do, be doing a couple of series to this. And the first thing we want to talk about is um, talking about staying focused. We know that right now that we are in some times and uh, we're still dealing with COVID. And I don't want to be the dead horse with that because we already have been talking that over and over and over. But now we're into something else now. We know that there is a lot, there's been a lot of storms that's been going on, winter storms and people in places where people did not expect them to be. and um, that's really, a, that's pretty tough for people. And one of the things is this, is that we have to make sure that during these times that we do everything that we can possibly do is just try to try to stay with, you know, have, have an accountability. Okay. Have an accountability person, someone that you can talk to. Oftentimes when we're going through different things and scenarios and different life challenges, what we have, what we do sometimes is that we just go inwardly and we don't express the things inwardly, outwardly to people. And that's going to be really important. And I wanted to just uh, share one of the, uh, the excerpts out of my book is uh, the first chapter said, talking about stay focused. And sometimes uh, during these times, it's so important that we that we stay focused because we can see that God is doing something in the midst of it. God is doing something spectacular in your life. So it's important that you grasp what it is that he's saying and what he's doing in your life. And oftentimes we have all these uh, distractions that come our way, that come our way. We have these mental blocks. We have mental strongholds. We have things, thousands and thousands of thoughts that come um, our way every day, every day. And we're not really sure which ones to entertain, which ones to cast away. And, you know, I was thinking that, you know, in the Bible, it says casting down vain imaginations and every high thing that exalts itself above the knowledge of Christ. So we have to remember that we have to, with these thoughts, we have to not entertain these thoughts. We have to cast them down. But so my book, the book is called The War in My Mind to the Place of Deliverance. And one of the things is this, is that we don't want just to have a war in our mind with the thoughts. We need to learn how to um, break some of these strongholds that we've been having on all of our lives, strongholds of the mind. Uh, warfare, spiritual warfare, how to deal with that. How do, how do we cast down vanished imaginations? How do we know if these thoughts are coming from God or these thoughts coming from me or these thoughts coming from the enemy? Well, this book tells you all about that and how to come to a place of deliverance. So you won't have these continued recurring issues with the wrong mindsets. Because the Bible says in Philippians chapter um, two and five says, let this mind be in you, which is also in Christ Jesus. So it's important that we grab hold and to take those wrong mindsets and to get the right mindset by replacing the wrong thoughts with the right thoughts. And um, and to understand that what a stronghold is, a stronghold of the mind is something that has been reinforced. Has been it's it's uh, it has it's intertwined. It has roots to it, and even with uh, depression, sometimes depression it may be one single root that's way deep down on the inside of you that has a lot of different branches that triggers it. So we want God. This is what's good about God, and this is what I love about God is God is about eradicating those strongholds. He's not about just you repruning them or we smothering up or we masking those. God is about, listen, he's about getting down to the root cause of that. We need to know why that we keep having these reoccurring issues, the reoccurring uh, uh, issues of the mind and strongholds and, and fear and, and the trauma. Why won't the trauma go away? And this book talks about that. 
It's called the war in my mind to the place of deliverance because we want to not just be, uh, we want to be made whole. We want to be delivered. We don't want these things, dramatic things to continue to um, uh, keep us in a place of depression or places, people or places of suicide or destructive behaviors or cutting yourself or drinking binges or addictions. We want those things. God wants those things to be eradicated out of your life. Amen. Uh, and, you know, um, there's a lot, like I said, there's a lot of things that are going on and you should be able to have some peace. God says that we have the peace, should have the peace that surpasses all understanding. How you can have peace, how I can have peace. Have peace in the midst of storms and midst in the valleys in your life. Amen. Because the fact is, we're always going to have some challenges. Amen. There's going to be some challenges. There's going to be some things that come your way. That's going to come my way. But it's not what happens to us. It's how we respond to it. So we need the, the the teaching, we need the leading, we need the guiding, and we need the understanding of how those things could be eradicated. Now, listen, I'm going to be doing a new show on here, and it's called Simple Truth Today. So once again, this is the book. Before we go into that, I want to just kind of lead you into that series. I mean, into that, um, uh, um, um, now I'm about to say podcast, because I do have a podcast too. But I want to before we start that, before I start that show, I want you to get free. The Bible says, whom the Son has set free is free indeed. And get free in your mind. Free in your mind. Be delivered. and Be made whole. So you can have some joy in your life. Have some peace in your life. Amen. So this again, once again, is the war in my mind to the place of deliverance. And guess what? It is on Amazon.com. You can get it in paperback form, or you can get it by Lisa McIntosh, or you can, for you Kindle people, you can get Kindle. Okay, so listen, I got to go. We'll talk soon. We'll talk tomorrow. Okay, we're going to go on chapter two, just some excerpts out of the book. And I pray that you be blessed. Stay safe, stay whole, stay blessed.